doing well. I'm Daphne. Hi, Daphne. Javier. Javier. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, welcome. Yeah. yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the new Range Rover SVR, the special vehicle racing vehicle, and we're going to head out on the off-road and we're going to head on the on-road. So we'll be able to see what it, how it performs for us on-road and then on the track as well. Okay. So it's always to consider that we're doing both of these extremes, which are pretty remarkable. That's so a, we'll, yeah, that's amazing with these kind of cars that what you, all the things you can do. With exactly. Them, right? So we're going to take a left. And then we're going to take a right. And then another left. We're going to head up to the flags up there where the grass okay. is. There. So oh, let's okay. stop here and go yeah. to low range. Okay. So in order to do that, we'll go into neutral. Yep. Squeeze a little. There you go. You'll squeeze. Yep. There perfect. And see the little mountains here? Yep. So press that button. The vehicle will automatically start to raise up. You'll feel that back end yeah. comes first, How much followed is that by the, the front end. The height. It, it'll inches. raise. Oh yeah. So it'll. You know, our we have a ground clearance already. It'll go about another five inches for us as we yeah. start to raise up. We also have terrain response. We don't need to do anything out here for the vehicle, but in this case, we're going to. We'll go ahead and go into mud rut. So just press the auto button. It'll pop up. Okay. Two clicks to the right. You'll see the little tree there. We also have an information screen here on our nav screen, yeah. which will let us know we could do mud ruts. Uh, we can also come into sand mode, rock crawl mode. So we have a variety of choices that yeah. we could use, but today we're gonna go mud ruts, okay? okay. We'll go back to drive. And then also in one place, we're, it's a very short because we only have a limited amount of time, but we'll also come over with the shifter and you'll see it'll go to first gear. We can adjust those gears with the paddle shifters on the right and okay. the left. Open I always down. think of it as the, the shifter on the right is like the gas, so it moves up. Shifter on the left is like my brake, so it moves down. Okay. Okay. But for the purposes here right now, we're just going to go ahead and drive. Great. There. So this is a two-way road. I think we're good, but we're going to make a, a right-hand turn, so just be careful of oncoming traffic, and we're good. Perfect. So while the skin of the vehicle has changed, yeah. um, it really, underneath from an off-road perspective, it's still just as capable. So it really, the only thing we really changed a little bit was that front, the approach angle, mm -hmm. um, just because of the So it's air, a little bit the, less? Yeah, it's a little bit less that air more. dam in the front, right. That's correct. And I always come back to this. I like this mode because it allows us to see where as we turn the wheel, where our, where our tires are. So. From our nav screen, we have a variety of choices here. I'm gonna go into extra features and yeah. it's gonna take me to the four by four mode. Here we can actually see as you turn the wheel, so turn the wheel to the right, you can see the oh, front wheels, everything. how they turn. So particularly out here, we'll be in a couple of mud rut situation. You want your tires just to be straight. Uh, we'll also, We'll also be able to see here our center differential and our rear differential. As we start to get into more serious terrain, it'll start to lock up. It's a variable diff and it'll start to change colors. Exactly. So you'll see that. So okay. we're already in mud and like low gear. So exactly. So when you're in low gear, obviously you cannot go very fast, right? Right, and and we always say, you know, it's it's one thing when you look at the Baja drivers and they've got yeah. millions of dollars of support behind them, so if something goes wrong, out here we want to even go slower. So even slow it down a little bit because it's just so slick and a tiny amount of, of turning with those front tires, the back tires have to adjust. So as you have we to come give it into, time, yeah. Exactly. As we come to here, we're going to turn to the left, but give it some time before you make that turn. I always say, think of the line the back inside tire is going to take. Oh, so, I see. So hold it for a minute. You got plenty, and then start to turn it. Yeah. We want to go first gear with our shifter. So go ahead and shift into first gear. Yep. And it's, yep. And you know what the paddle shifter is. You want to make sure you're in first. Yeah. And this has hill descent, obviously, right? Exactly. So that, and you can see with the paddle shifter, you're still in second. So squeeze that left paddle, and it'll bring it the left paddle, paddle, and it'll bring it the left paddle. Oh, the other leg. Exactly. Now, nice and slow in here. Much slower. Back to your side, because because you don't always have time to be able to. You want to use your side mirrors as you come through here. Exactly. This is much better. Don't start your turn too soon because that back end's gonna cheat. Oh, I see. So you wanna be able to essentially sort of go straight for a while 
and then make your turn. Checking it with your mirror. That's the way you got more space there. Exactly. Nice. And we'll go straight across. There you go. Let's go back to drive. So with our shifter, shift it back to the right. Perfect. Nice and slow as we come in through here. Even though it's straight, there's some ditches here and the back end's going to shift a little bit again. So slower down, slower down. There you go. So this would be nice as you, as you have a, a minute. Yeah. Uh, these are on our side. So as you turn the wheel to the left, don't move the vehicle. Yeah. Just turn the wheel to the left. If you were crossing a bridge, oh, you'd you be able see. to see where that bridge is. Oh, okay. So it's very helpful. And then of course, well, if, like for example, there, see the tree there. Exactly. From a more practical standpoint, if you're coming out of your driveway, you could see who's there. But in this instance, as we come through here, it's really more helpful to use those side mirrors because if you focus too much here, uh -huh. you forget to just what's, drive what's the in car. Front of you, yeah. Right, exactly. And so that's why oftentimes we'll we'll go into that. We'll go back to our off-road mode so that you can actually see and now so you can see your differential. Yeah. Slow. Back to my side. Stay to my side. There you go. What you and I don't want to do is play ping pong. I where know. if I say a touch to the right and you go right for a second, but then quickly go back left. Because then we're just going back and forth. There you go. Nice. Not too much of a turn yet. That back end. Now watch your mirror. If you watch that side mirror. Each yeah. time you come past those trees, it's such a great tool for us. Good. Don't start your turn yet. Good. Now a little bit. Yep. Yeah, and keep this, it straight. This there you, now, to, there you go. So a long car. That's so, what you forget yeah, sometimes. So. Right, and and nice and slow here. What I always say, and and it's so natural, is that what happens is so often we drive from our physical body. Gun, gentle. Don't start your turn too soon. There you go. Now turn. Keep her slow. Yep. There you go. Nice. Again, slow through these trees because you've got some ruts and the ruts can kick you off to one side or the other. Yeah, I felt one like right. there. Yep. And same thing here. Don't start this turn to the left. To, yep, now turn. Okay. Gentle, gentle. Remember the most vulnerable part of our vehicle is the sidewall of the tire. Yeah. So you always want to keep an eye on, that's yeah. where if like with rocks, we'll go right up on the rock. So um, see, is this being like this is both both cars he can do this and then we can go on the it's track with it it's unbelievable are there special tires for this car no i mean we're we're on 21s right now yeah 22s are available um and you know you just as always that's where i'll always say slow it back down because yeah. here you don't need to start going too fast the vehicle's just going to wander through here and when we get into these ruts it's a good idea just to stay in the ruts. Okay. You don't want to start, because if you start trying to get out of them, then the back, it, everything just gets a little bit squirrely. So I would say just slowly come in, because you don't again know what's quite in here sometimes. Particularly as we come to a puddle up ahead that you'll see, when you're out here by yourself or with somebody, you want to come slowly into it, make sure it has a bottom. That's, 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 <laughs> that's good. a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> because that way, if all of a sudden you start to sink a little bit here, you can back up. Yeah. And you always want to be able to have that exit strategy. You can take a stick, see how see how deep it goes. Know. Good. We don't have a, a large hill here, but you can see we have the hill descent control. That it activates automatically? It, it auto activates automatically for us. The nice thing about hill descent control as well is that it's variable. So we can adjust the speed on it. Okay. Anywhere from about 1.8 miles an hour to 18. 18, that's kind and, of fast. And well, it could be long. It could be a long, exactly. It could be a long, long stretch that you're going through. Yeah. Um, and you don't want it to pull you back at five miles an hour, but you don't want to get going too much faster. The way that you would adjust that and we can do it in a minute, but I'll just talk you through it. Yeah. It's with our cruise control, the plus oh, and minus yeah, yeah, of yeah. our yeah. cruise when, control. Like, when you, uh, slow add... down, slow down as you come through here. Just let it walk. There you go. Because you've got this bump right here. 
And you also don't, you can sort of take a note from your passenger if they start to, <laughs> to no. sway a little bit. Good, let's come back to drive. So with your shifter, just come right over to me. Yeah. There you go, perfect. Good, slow on these bumps. It's gonna go bump, bump, bump. So you just want the entire vehicle to be able to walk through here. Good. Kevin, we're just at the four-way intersection, headed towards the dam. Keep going. Yep. Oh, slow as you come into the hole here. Let the front end of the vehicle come in. Let the back end also come in. Good. And then you can walk right back out. Good. We're just about pulling off in the clearing to let you guys by. Gentle here as you come through this spot. Thanks, Kevin. Good. There you go. And we'll head right back on there. You can go uh, on to the, the go on to the dirt. Coming off the off -road, you know, heads up. So before you undo that yeah. seatbelt, though, I got to keep you focused. Up on the parking brake. First no, park, no? no, actually, we oh? actually want to come on to the parking brake first. Oh, really? You want to put the weight of the vehicle not on the parking pole in the transmission. Huh. So you want to come up on that parking, I mean, up on the emergency brake yeah. or the parking brake, then into neutral. Yeah. Let all the weight of the vehicle settle and then into park. Oh, I never heard that one before. Yeah. When you get ready to go, we're going to go gear first, then, then brake off. So it's the first to come on and the last to go off. Interesting. Yeah, so press the little P. So yeah, so we have the technicians from the UK who are here with us on this launch. And uh, so we go up the ramp, turn the vehicle off so that they can go in, just they go in quietly and look at each wheel and tire to make sure as we come from the off-road to transition to the on-road. And this is the perfect demonstration of what this, this car can do, right? It's like two cars in one or more than two cars right. in one. Nice and slow. It so does everything. Well, and of course, you know, we would love to be able to do all the articulation and <laughs> spend know. hours out on the off-road, but we don't always have that time. 